Hello everyone and welcome to my team career mode Season 6 Come on bro If you didn't see that screenshot that I just put up in the video Go have a look at it Because there will be a spoiler in 3, 2, 1 Max Verstappen has announced his retirement by the end of the season Obviously I don't know if I plan to do another season because I know I'm not going to buy F124 but I'm going to buy no I'm not going to buy, I'm going to play the other games that I have like 21, 2018, 2017 like all that kind of stuff anyway try and manual gears by the way for the first time in my team career mode nice ooh bit slidey but on the grass that was going decent till that starting to be a bit shaky now this my team remote car handling is a bit unpredictable like what most people have said about F124 which is part of the reason why I'm not buying it and I also need to uh, get good school grades so I have a decent job anyway through our qualifying lap it was going okay until Zhou Guan Yu decides to fight me like it's the greatest battle of all time. Anyway, up to the line, what will it be? Oh dear. We have a lot of work to do this weekend. 53 laps to get overtake 21 cars. It's about a car every two laps. We need to be on it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Liam Lawson, Verstappen, Russell, Gasly, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Joe, Sonoda, Sato, Drogovic, Ocon, Albon, Bottas, Sargent, Dewan, De Vries, Teo Porcher, Stroll, Magnussen and Baxter. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's talk about Baxter. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. After the points a one stop race, in a 100% race. Going. What am I seeing? I was thinking about starting hard and then going mediums and then maybe waiting for a safety car. But what I actually think I'm going to do is go mediums and then either extend for softs or extend for hards. Or no, extend for softs or go to hards. It depends on where we are, track position wise. Because I'm going to go for the hard tire, uh, the soft tire strategy for now. But we will probably end up changing it anyway. One, two, three, four, five red lights. And we are racing here at Monza for the season six My Team Grand Prix. Decent start, up four places already, up to P18. Breaking down to turn one. We know turn one could cause a lot of carnage. Trying to take the inside line to gain as many positions as I can. Just almost get scooted off the track then as the Alpine decides to just give us most space but we weren't really on side so we don't really deserve any. Anyway, up 11 places into turn 1 as we have a replay from Zhou Guan Yu's start. What happened to him? He got a decent start on the hard compound tires but then just gets blocked off. He loses one position to the Alfa Romeo, one position to Dragovic and he's down to P11 and then there's Ocon alongside him and then we go alongside the pair of them and they then hit each other through turn 2 it gives Ocon damage and possibly even Joe some damage and he's down to P13. Sato was another one of those who had a stinker at the start, but he had a terrible first phase of the start. His second phase was alright, but because of the bad first phase, there was not much he could really do with it. He was down to 13th. Then there's an Alpine alongside him, then we're ahead of him. So he shuffles down to 15th, which is quite harsh. 
because he really got cleared by Albon as soon as it started to straighten. Leclerc from P1. This is a bad start from him. Really, really bad start. Bad start for both Ferraris, to be honest. Ferrari will not be happy with their start from them, too. Then here was what was happening to all of it. As he was fighting Russell for P5 in his last Italian Grand Prix. Really, did Max Verstappen retire? How old would he be, like 30? No, not a chance. Well, because I do think Max Verstappen will break all the record. And probably be the greatest driver everyone's ever seen. Because that was not great. We got hit, and then hit again, and off the track. Now meaning we have damage, and just on lap two, we have to pit. For a, new set of, um, for a new set of tyres. By the way, if you're wondering what that really annoying beeping noise is, that's telling me, that's the game telling me to shift up. It's giving me a reminder of when to shift up. So, yeah. I know it's annoying, but you've got to learn to take the assist, the assist off somehow. And Joe just straight lines Scari. And we get a warning for collision with him. But we come into the pits. No, as you do, no five second penalty for us. Thank you very much. DRS gets enabled. Turn in, here we go. Oh, we got a good turn in, turning quite early there. Cost us about three tenths in the end. On to softs we go, and then we're probably going to go to hard. Okay, so we now need to have a mega stint a now. There, mega a stint and mega game of F1. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Now, out of the pits we go in P22, we've got 30 seconds near enough to recover. 30 seconds, and then we have to pass them. As we can see a replay of Norris, and he's fighting Russell, who himself is fighting Verstappen. They're going to go three wide down the main straight. That is definitely the thumbnail shot. So if you have seen the thumbnail, you now know where that's come from. Do you, do you guys like my thumbnails? Let me know. As we can see, Max Verstappen going around the outside of Russell. However, that is quite a stupid place because it means you won't get DRS, I think. Yeah, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications on so you never miss another upload. Williams Career Mode Season Finale coming later. As Max and the two Mercedes go three wide again. Max trying to get all the room he deserves on the hards versus the softs. So he's doing well to even keep up with them. We set a fast snap on lap 5 and then again on lap 6. As we've taken 8 seconds out that gap already in just 4 laps with 2 seconds of that quicker than that. Who let us cook? Who let us cook so much? Anyway. Max Verstappen versus George Russell. Now they've just let Lando Norris get away. That's why Russell doesn't have DRS. Round the outside goes Max Verstappen. He makes it. And he gets up to... Uh, was it really P7? Is that what they were fighting for? P6, P7? Who knows? But the two Ferraris are fighting on the end of lap 6. Um, Science versus Leclerc. We've seen these two in real life. Come a cropper, the Chinese Grand Prix. They were fighting each other very, very hard in the sprint. About 10 times as hard in the main race, I feel like. Well, they never really had a battle on track. It's more of a mental battle. And here's George Russell's BOV on lap 7. Breaking for a Scari, but just getting it all crossed up. Not making that apex at all and having to wait for everyone else to go past before he can come back on. Meanwhile, Lando Norris has accelerated up to the Ferraris, which is not what we want for our championship battle. Max, you need to go get him and help us, lad. Anyway, he does not make a successful move on the Ferraris. Um, on lap 15, 13 laps after we've hit, we've done a 27 second gap. And we go around the outside of the house into Parabolica, or whatever it's called these days. I'm going to continue to call it Parabolica. There we are, and there's two moves, one in on Russell, 
the need to move on the Mercedes for the constructors, although it means no points right now. But we do have to pass the slap. Two Astons and a Williams. They're going to get past one. Going to try and get past two, I think. Maybe, possibly. No, yes. Please, no, yes. Yeah, we should get them. No, nope. we're just going to get boxed in. We're going to have to break earlier than them. Or not, because we're going to push him through. Oh, we just got to keep alongside Nick the Freeze and up we go on place higher. Another place on Alonso, which we the trying to need to get us on Piastri. And I don't think we're going to do it. And here's Norris on the two Ferraris. As long as they're letting Lawson clear off into the distance, I'm not mad at all. So Norris does get heavily chopped across there. But the Ferrari defends, even though he had a whole car ahead of Norris, and just gives Norris P2 where the Ferraris are on the hards and the uh, Mercedes are on the softs so the Ferraris should start pulling away soon anyway we, we're going around the outside of Piastri the Williams driver our Williams teammate in two player career mode who has not done too well as of recent my word Drogovic just cuts across us but hey ho gonna have to do a lunge possibly yeah lunge nice all two cars Nice, nice, nice. Up to P13. Round the outside, can we do a double here? No way. Double overtake round the outside of Parabolica. As we get a safety car. Safety car. Safety car. This helps us. Sort of. But it sort of helps everyone, so. Oh no, it suggests double soft. Excuse me? Double soft from here? No, I think it's definitely Max going to be hard. Max in the pits. I mean, softs would take us that 40, so maybe it won't be a bad call because we're fighting off one into the pits, but the game says, um, no. Absolutely not going to get the pit. But we come into the pits for the hard compound tyres. But unfortunately, we get held into a double stack. Really unfortunate. However, we do get a 1.9 second pit stop. And we are up to P10. We did gain position on Ocon through that somehow. So, for the first time today, we're in a point scoring position and it's only taken 19 laps. That's not bad. Because if we got. That's why the safety car was called. These guys all stopped and Bottas was out. Anyway, resume racing. Yeah, 22 laps P10 isn't bad because if we made a move every lap, it would be 11 places. So we'd be P11. So we're about where we should be if we wanted to target the win. But. Okay, here we go. Gonna make a move on Porsche, but he decides to move on the Joe Bonnew is more important for him. We're gonna use all the battery in the world to try and get Joe Bonnew, but they're just using too much. It makes it impossible. And by the end of the lap, we've lost almost two seconds to Joe Bonnew as Ocon stuff there on the outside. We need to find some pace and quickly, as we do on lap 24 as we're fighting Joe and Porsche. As he decides to stop in the corner, but you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to make another wonderful double move around the outside of the chicane. Going to make a compilation, pardon me, on my shorts channel. How many double moves I've made today. These are okay, we take the fastest lap on lap 28. And Joe Wanyu comes back past us. We can go around the outside. Where are we? Oh, we just pushed us too far over. And we at the back end of them, but it wasn't really our fault. What can you do is we're squeezing poor chair to try and stop him from battling us because we're just losing so much time to everyone else. It's a mess. Anyway, Gasly and the two Ferraris, as Max has kind of faded out of this battle, especially even now Albon's got, even now Albon has got him. As Gasly goes right around the outside and up to the podium. As these guys are now letting Norris easily get P2. And Norris could even have a chance at Lawson yet. As we send a huge dive bomb okay, on Joe Bonnew because we're up into the lead train. And we're going to be there. And we are there because we have DRS. And we're going to go for Verstappen here just because the train's getting so held up. A bit of a spot for him. We're going to go for Max. Can we go down the inside there? That would not be wise. Can we go down the inside into the chicane? No thanks. I think we're going to have to go around the outside. But we can't quite do it. 
can't quite do it. He's managed to uh, fend us off there, so fair play to him. I don't know if we didn't, because Championship points, but we've got Albon and Joe's going for it. But we can't do much, we can't really do much. We're going to have to send it back on Joe by me. And make a lovely move down inside turn one. Anyway, that 35, on the outside of a pair of them. Not another double move in this Grand Prix, is it? Not quite, not quite. But we take the one ahead of Alex Albon, as we've now lost the train of Ferraris. We're going to try and overtake Max to get back up to him, but Max is fighting us. Into turn one, Max. Doesn't leave us much room. We're going to have to make do with what we've got. We're going to have to push like an absolute stab to get anywhere near them. But we just can't because we just haven't got the pace by ourselves. If it was two player career, we'd be on them in seconds, but unfortunately it's not, so can't really get any closer to them than this. That is a shame. But hey ho, go down the inside of Max. Nice move. Max comes down inside of us. This is what we needed to be doing earlier. However, we're not really gaining much from it, so it's not really doing anything. It's like some reason we down to gear one. I kept doing that, and I kept not double shifting into Lesmo one, but. Hey ho, as I decide now is the time to use a bit of battery. Try and push past Verstappen. Who Verstappen actually has a little bit of damage, so might not be the best person to work with anyway. But I thought that'd gain us time, but it just didn't, so we're just battling Verstappen for now. Although he is on medium, so we should be quicker than him at the end. As Joe now goes for a dive bomb on us. Joe's got the fastest lap in fact. Joe sure hits us, or did we hit him? I don't know. What I do know is we're up. To be seven, and we outbroke ourselves mm, to the first game. We lost both positions to Max and to Joe. But with the way they were fighting with DRS, we're going to be back in DRS, no problem. And we are up to P8. Well, we're not up to P8, rather. We're close up to P6. And we're still in P8, is what I wanted to say. We can go down the inside of Max with Bravo Grande. Hopefully he'll let us go so we can go catch Joe by new, but he's not quite for it. He's gonna fight it into the chicane. Not really much we can do apart from push Joe by new through it. We're then gonna fight into turn one, but since we we first lost the RS train, the gap is about doubled or even tripled, so any chance of the Ferraris is now okay, gone listen, don't worry about it, as we go a bit too to wide and that's now a spin look, a and that's the front wing and, and, and we've also been carrying floor damage this morning with 10 laps to go that is a safety car nice front wing change on the S get in right Do the turn. Hopefully, we can get optimal this time. Yeah, nice. Well, third pit stop of the afternoon, second of which is a wing change. We're going to drop down to last, okay, which means in race. nine laps, 22 cars are going to have to overtake we Rexy. Three cars are that. Because we'll probably, we'll probably come in with about seven to go, so we'll have to take like three cars a lap. Okay, slow so, down, slow down, your delta's yeah. negative, which means you're going too fast. Here's what Would it you? is, we've got our work cut out, we've got some work to do, let's go, let's go. A replay of our spin, just quickly, just get caught on the grass, that sends us wide, and us being sent wide just sends us into a full spin. Nothing we can quite do there. I was using a high gears to catch up to the safety okay, car, so we're going to wear our again. engine the out. Safety car is in this lap. Oh, when the there safety car comes in. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Yep, seven laps to go. Three cars per lap. Let's do right, this. Although overtake, the overtakes will get more and more difficult as we go along. Down into turn one. Break in. Oh. That's three cars, all right. That's four cars, all right. Damn. Going outside. Nice, let's put battery on, let's get past. Not quite, he's too quick for us, nice straight. <sighs> a nice lunge. 
Das ist schön. Das ist fast die Art. Ich habe einen Dungeon für Scario, aber es war sehr tief. Das war einer meiner Shifts, die nicht registriert wurde. Das war immer. Ich war sehr nah an der Red Bull, auf 13. Ich habe einen Red Bull, aber ich werde das nicht vergessen. Uh, die pushen uns, pushen uns, pushen uns. Und wir haben Sonoda auch. Well. Fortier und Sonoda haben ihn übertaken, für einmal. Ich habe einen Fortier und nicht ihn aus. Das scheint zu sein, dass wir in diesem Squirt Mode haben. Nice, wir sind auf die B-Send, zurück in die Point Squirt Position. Oh, es geht ein bisschen schneller als das. DOS enabled. Das sollte die Overtaken entweder easier oder mehr schwierig sein. Probably für uns mehr schwierig, weil wir bessere Exits haben. Aber sie werden die DOS zu counteren. Wir benutzen alle DOS in der Welt, um die Asteroid zu schauen. Was wir machen. Und Albon ist fighting Joe. Und wir haben auch die Asteroid nicht wirklich gemacht, aber wir können nicht wirklich etwas machen. Wir haben nicht wirklich etwas gemacht. Wir sind jetzt in Dark Rowing, also der Alex macht das. Aber wir bekommen ihn wieder und wir haben noch die Asteroid. Und jetzt werden wir auf Joe's 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 Down the inside, up to P6, no P7 rather. And we're going to go for my teammate down the inside of Perfect uh, Grande again. Fighting Max here, up to P6. Max don't fight for the championship. And the reason I've decided to fight it this time is because Ferraris are right there. And I'm on fresher tires, there's no losing them this time. Could be even overtaken. About 54 laps to go. 3 laps to go once we cross the line. Around the outside, Lawson down to four. Norris is now winning this race after that last safety car. We have to go catch him. We have to go get the... He should have dominated this race person. Around the outside of Lawson into a scary. Nice move. Up to four. Now let's get Gasly as Norris is down to second. Breaking with two laps to go into turn one. The penultimate first corner. Nice, nice, nice. I'm into P3, Norris and Sykes fighting. As you can see from my screen, they're side by side of each other. We just keep pushing, we just keep pushing, we have to. We have to give it everything to be anywhere near the fight for the win. Which, do you know what, if you told me that today, the messy race I've had is we just keep that intact, that I'd be P as a place. P4, P3, I would not believe you. So we were fighting for the win, but at the moment, let's just solidify P3. Nice, round the outside of Gassi, all that force cap. Nice move on Pierre. When we come home to finish, P3 on the back of the grid, that is good old drive that. It's a thoroughly deserved win here in Italy after another excellent Grand Prix. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come our winners now. A thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. Let's go, P3.
So let's review the driver's stand. Lando gains three points on us, but you know what? They're only gaining three points on us when let's focus on I qualify 22nd. Who do you pick? That is fine by me. Someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision me. has to be commended. Let's move on to the constructors. Let's no go. change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead. Seven is points in the championship, so 20 in the constructors behind. As they make we need Max to start scoring a bit more. After an event like that, well, I who think he could do all right in that race compared to recent ones. So sure to join us again. As we'll let him off. Also, my feel like I wasn't great, but if you like that, make sure to like, subscribe, and never miss another upload. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.